Yo, what is up guys? The day is finally here. Day zero. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is finally out. Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you my first gameplay of Advanced Warfare. This is the class setup that I used. It's basically all just default guns, class items, so I wouldn't really go too in depth with it. So I really wanted to go over some of the things that I've noticed about Advanced Warfare so far and make some comparisons about some of the old Call of Duties that are out. So if you're wondering, this gameplay actually is my first game of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare ever. Actually during this domination game at halftime we lose connection to host, so the video is a little bit short. So the first thing I've noticed about Advanced Warfare is that knifing ability, that uh, lunge from all the other Call of Duties, it's pretty much non-existent in this game. If you aren't physically touching the person that you're trying to melee, you're not going to hit them. The time to kill for this game is a lot higher than most of the other Call of Duties. I'd say it's probably most like Black Ops 1, so it's a lot higher than Ghost. As you can see right here, I shoot the guy a couple times and then I stop shooting and I put my gun down and then I don't have time to bring it back up to kill him. The speed of this game is incredibly fast. Compared to Ghost again, where you would just go for 10-20 seconds without seeing one person on here, you are constantly going up against three or four people at a time. You level up on this game really fast too. Like, so far it's just been double XP because of day zero and the next day. I don't know how long the double XP goes on for, but I've only played with double XP so far and I've already prestiged so I'd say the uh, rate at which you level up on here is a lot faster than most of the other Call of Duties too. Because you're leveling up so fast you unlock things really fast too. You also unlock most of the best equipment at low levels. Like I think two of the best guns in the game are the AK-12 and the BAL-27 and you start out with both of those guns. As for right now, the perks in this game are kind of unbalanced. Like, it's basically useless to even run kill streaks right now because you start out with blind eye. So basically, everyone runs that. So when you're using a kill streak, you are not getting any kills with it. You can't run a UAV either because you start out with low profile, which takes you off of the radar when the other team has a UAV. So. Most of the killstreaks in this game are useless just because all of the perks that hide you from killstreaks you get from level 1. The secondary weapons in this game are basically useless. The uh, pistols are all way too slow, like they don't get kills other than the RW1 which is the one shot pistol. But as for the Atlas 45, the MP443, the Rock, and the PDW, they can take up to like five to six shots just to get a kill. As for the launchers and the special weapon, which is the crossbow, I actually haven't seen anyone use them so far, so I don't really know if they are good or not. I'm actually pretty excited that they brought back Hardpoint since Call of Duty Ghost left it out, but I am also excited that they brought back Search and Rescue from Ghost. I actually, that's probably one of the only things that I actually enjoyed from Ghost. I also like that they brought back the emblem editor from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Me and my friends have had a bunch of fun on there lately, uh, making funny emblems and seeing who can make the best, most detailed one. I would have to say the connection for this game is pretty smooth. It's about as smooth as Ghost, which I think is one of the most smooth Call of Duties out. Um, 
I've only been disconnected from host a couple times, including my very first game, but other than that, most of the games run real smooth, no lag. Um, bullet registration, it's pretty good. I would say if you're getting shot at, then it can be a little sketchy, but other than that, it's pretty good. If you're trying to decide whether you want to buy Advanced Warfare or not, I would say you probably should. It's really fun, and if you're on the new consoles, then you definitely need a better Call of Duty than Call of Duty Ghosts. Alright guys, so if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button, and if you just liked my voice, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There's going to be a bunch more great videos coming soon, and go ahead and leave in the comments anything that you liked, disliked, uh, and topics that you think I should cover next. Thanks for watching, and I hope I see you back here next time. We lost Bravo. Securing Alpha. Half time.